Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, depending on where you are right now. As president of the Econometric Society, I would like to welcome all speakers and participants to the 2021 Africa meeting of the Econometric Society. This is a very special meeting for us because it's the very first truly hybrid meeting of the Econometric Society. So a combination of a physical meeting with a virtual conference. Uh, we very much hope that we'll be able to use, to use such meetings more and more in the future to connect globally more easily. And our hope is that these meetings, the Africa meeting, will serve as a model for many meetings to come. For those of you who are attending in person, uh, a very warm welcome to Abidjan, which you can see in my background, and also to our host institution and SEA. Uh, to those of you who, like myself, could not travel to Abidjan given the circumstances, a very warm virtual welcome. I would like to start by thanking the program organizers, the program chairs, Prosper Donovan and Ismael Murifier, for a terrific job in organizing this conference and for an excellent program. Uh, many thanks also to the program committee, to all the members of the program committee, but in particular to the local organizers who took care of all the logistics and, and who provided critical support to take this meeting off the ground. Uh, without our host institution and SEA, <clears throat> without the chairs and the organ and organizers, uh, this conference would not have been possible. And I would like to thank in particular uh, Uge Kouadjo, the director of NCA, for all his contributions, and also Fed Dukouré and uh, Louis Landry Gakpa. Uh, we have 158 presentations in this conference and uh, more than 210 registered participants. Uh, these are truly record numbers for the African region. Um, I'm very happy to report that by now the African region is fully established and run, uh, runs a, a regional meeting almost every year. Uh, in addition to this year's meeting in Cote d'Ivoire, recent African regional meetings took place in Algiers in 2017, in Cotonou in 2018, and in Rabat in 2019. I also want to commend the, the organizers uh, for just completing the first Africa summer school in econometrics, a school we hope that will become a permanent uh, fixture of the econometric society, along with our three Asian summer schools, uh, our uh, international summer school, and also our uh, Latin American workshops. Uh, I was also especially happy that last year during the World Congress, we virtually welcomed a record number of participants from the African region, uh, representing 16 African countries, uh, including uh, Benin, Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Nigeria, Senegal, South Africa, uh, Togo, and, and Uganda, uh, just to name uh, a few. Uh, I'm also very pleased to report that our African membership has been growing every year, but of course we would like it to grow even more. Uh, so I would encourage all participants who are not yet members of the Econometric Society uh, to join us. Um, I'm very pleased to say that under the leadership of, of, of now past presidents, uh, Tim Besley and Stephen Morris, and also the African Regional Standing Committee, and with the generous support of all our members, many of whom are, are here today, uh, we created a fund for young scholars in Africa. And we use this fund to finance membership and participation in the African region of the Econometric Society. So among other things, we provide free three-year membership to those who apply. And once COVID restrictions are lifted, we will use some of these funds to subsidize travel uh, for those scholars who want to attend physical society meetings. Um, let me also use this opportunity to thank the chair of our African Regional Standing Committee, Yoni Arco, and the Regional Secretary, Prosper Donovan, whom I, I've already mentioned, because in addition to being secretary, uh, Prosper was also a program chair for this meeting, and both Yo and Prosper have been instrumental, uh, both in organizing this meeting, but also in strength strengthening the region's activities and, and membership. Uh, finally, let me um, highlight some of the events that uh, uh, you can participate in in the next three days. 
uh, we have an amazing set of keynote addresses. Um, let me mention that two of them uh, are given by uh, uh, previous Econometric Society presidents, uh, one of them by Professor Jim Heckman, um, a Nobel Prize laureate, who, among other things, uh, served as president of the Econometric Society in 2013. Another former president, Manuel Arellano, he was president in 2014, uh, he presented the Marshak Lecture on June 2nd at the summer school. Uh, in addition uh, to, to Jim Heckman and Manuel Arellano, we have keynote addresses by Lisa Cook, Pascaline Dupas, uh, Kirabo Jackson, uh, Yoni Arco, and uh, I will be also giving the presidential address uh, later today. Many of these addresses are going to touch on policy relevant themes uh, in development. Uh, Yo and myself are going to talk more about markets, the role of markets in development, but many of the other keynote addresses are going to focus on human capital and on education. And so um, uh, just to give you uh, an example of, of what's to come, um, Jim Heckman is going to talk about interactions as investments, Pascaline Dupas is going to talk about the returns to secondary education, experimental evidence from Ghana, uh, Kirabo Jackson is going to talk about education policies for lasting success. In addition to these uh, keynotes, let me also highlight a panel discussion also on human capital. The, the topic is improving secondary pre-secondary education in Africa, key challenges and uh, solutions for the development of human capital. Uh, the members of members of the panel include uh, two Cote d'Ivoire ministers who specialize in education, who are in charge of education, one high-ranked education policymaker from UNICEF, and two academics, uh, uh, MBT Isaac, uh, but also Yoni Arco, who is going to serve as uh, moderator. Uh, finally, let me also thank John Rust and Conference Maker for all this, their support they have been for providing to uh, the Econometric Society over the years, and, and also our virtual service provider, Active, and its founder, Silke Fleischer. Uh, they provided uh, continuing support uh, for this meeting, but also our other regional meetings. And uh, uh, also the society's project manager, Ritu Johore, who's working with Active and our regions as we move into our second summer of, of virtual meetings. Um, so to conclude, thank you very much for participating in these meetings. I look forward to later presenting the, the presidential address. So I'm going to see you again in a few hours. I very much hope that you will find that the next three days very stimulating and very productive. Thank you again.